so I gotta tell you, I just got called off with the boys and it was perfect. Perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. Okay, well, maybe it's not perfect, but it is awesome. For those of you who don't know, The Boys is a TV show on Amazon Prime all about superheroes and how they're loved in the media and they're loved in the real world, but behind the scenes, they are real pieces of garbage, and it is so cool the way it's written. Coming off of seeing Better Call Saul, I was like, what am I going to watch next? Because nothing could beat the writing, cinematography, acting, and all the above for that show. And then I found out The Boys, well, it did a really good job. It came pretty close. No, I don't think The Boys is as well written as something like Better Call Saul or even as well shot as that show, but it is just such a fun show to watch and it really hooked me. <laughs> it's actually really sad. I started watching The Boys two Saturdays ago and I'm fully caught up as of this past Saturday. That means I watched 24 episodes of this show, which is the entire runtime in one week and that's pretty pathetic. So don't judge me. That was pretty much the worst I've ever done as far as TV goes, but I got to tell it was the best week I ever spent, and that's because The Boys is just so awesome. So this goes without saying, but I am definitely going to be talking about spoilers in this video, so you've been warned from here on out, I guarantee you I will talk about stuff. Oh man, where do I begin? The first thing I want to address here is Homelander. Homelander is one of the most interesting characters I've ever seen on TV. He's the most complex psychopath I've ever seen, and it's just so fun to watch him on screen. And that goes with saying, Anthony Starr, who plays Homelander, does such a good job. Like. Literally, he was born for this role. It's pretty crazy to see the films and TV shows he was in prior because it didn't look like he had anything like super of value up until this, and it really blows my mind to see that there's talent like that out there that, you know, they're waiting to just be explored. I mean, obviously he was in stuff, but this really put him on the map, and I gotta tell you, he really is a fantastic actor. See, Anthony Starr does such a good job with his facial emotions, and it tells a whole different story, and when you look at him, you're scared by his face. There's this one scene with Homelander where he's telling this corporatized story in front of a camera and he's looking right at the camera. His face is smiling, but his eyes are so angry. And I've never seen such good visual storytelling. That just goes to show the amazing depth that Anthony Starr has as this role. And again, I'm going to say one more time, he was born to play Homelander. He does such a good job with this role. The other thing I really like about The Boys is it's heavily rooted in America's politics, but it doesn't feel one-sided. With the show, you can kind of see that that parallel they're making where Homelander is somewhat apparently supposed to be like Donald Trump or whatever, but I, I don't understand that it's just one side. I feel like they play on both sides of this. There's so much satire about some of the movements we've seen in society, the cancel culture and things like that, and it really just makes you think about society as a whole. And at the same time, the show really makes me question what's really going on behind the scenes of the celebrities we do see in the real world. Like, obviously, there are people who have a lot of money and have a lot of power and I'm really interested to know how they act. Are they similar to Homelander or do we take how their public personality is at face value? Because obviously we hear certain horror stories about some celebrities being awful behind the scenes such as like Chevy Chase and things like that. But for the most part, most of us really don't know how celebrities and politicians are in real life. And the show only made me question more what is really going on behind the scenes of what we're seeing on camera. And I absolutely love that. I love how they tie in what's really Really going on in the real world into the show. And then the next thing I want to talk about is Carl Urban as Billy Butcher. Because I gotta tell you, he is so fun to watch. He kind of reminds me of Jesse Pinkman, the way he says the C word so many times throughout the show, but it's so captivating and fun to watch him curse, be mean, or even just fight other people. It's just, it's so entertaining. And anytime Carl Urban's on screen or Anthony Starr's on screen, I am hooked. And the only thing I gotta say about that is Carl Urban aside, I don't really love some of his dialogue, it feels a little too cheesy. Like, yeah, it's fun to see him say the C word on repeat, and it's fun to hear him say outrageous things, but some of his lines are just a little too comic-y, and I kind of like how the rest of the show is based in reality, but then you hear him talking, and it's not really realistic. Like, yeah, there's definitely some characters out there in the real world who talk really funny like that, but his dialogue is just a little too odd. But I'm not gonna crap on that the whole time, because the show is just so fun, and you gotta remember, this is an action based off 
off of the comics, so it's like, you're kind of watching something that's far-fetched to begin with anyway, and it's really fun. So I could obviously suspend a little bit of disbelief when it comes to some of the dialogue, because, you know, you're adapting it from the comics, but it's, it's something that kind of bothers me, I guess. And that being said, it's not just Billy Butcher and it's not just Homelander that make the show, it's the entire supporting crew. Like, this is truly an ensemble show. Like, The Walking Dead recently, when Rick left the show, they tried to say that, oh, it's an ensemble show, it was never about Rick, but that, that is not true. It was always about Rick and Carl in that show, but in this show, it really is an ensemble. Because a lot of characters get a lot of screen time, and it's not just Billy Butcher, and it's not just Homelander. Like, yeah, obviously, I guess you could say that they are the central focuses of the show, like, their dynamics, but really, it's just as much about Huey Campbell, it's just as much about Annie Jacobson, who's Starlight, and it's just as much about all the other characters, such as the rest of the boys, Maeve, A-Train, Deep, and all of those. And their stories are so amazingly complex. And while there are some characters that I like more than others, I gotta say, all of them do such a fantastic job. The actors playing all of those roles are so good at their job, too. And another reason why I like this show so much is it does such a great job with its characters and developing them. Like, look at A-Train. I hated A-Train in the beginning, and now I really feel bad for him. And then there's Deep, who's clearly a douchebag, but at the same time, there's something lovable about him, and you feel so horrible for him, too. Or Maeve, who's always kind of been the same personality-wise, but she's grown on me a lot this whole show. The list really goes on and on. All the characters have something sentimental that I absolutely love about them. And obviously, that's attributed to the writing and the comic version of the story, but it's also really about the actors, because they do such an amazing job with what they're given, and it makes it feel so real, even in a world that's based in superheroes and stuff. And I also love that Giancarlo Esposito is in the show, and even though I still think of him as Gus pretty much exclusively, it's kind of fun to see Gus playing the CEO of Vought. My name is Gustavo, but you can call me Gus. <laughs> like, it's really confusing to me because I hear and see Gustavo Fring, but I know I'm watching an entirely different show. I feel like it's so hard because Giancarlo Esposito will kind of always be typecasted as that kind of character, but he is a fantastic actor, so I could pet all that aside when I'm watching it. It's just in the back of my head the whole time I'm thinking, oh my god, it's Gustavo. But oh man, this show is so good and I really just can't wait for season four because my favorite actor ever, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, is coming to the show. It's been rumored for some time that he was going to come on, but I'm so glad it's finally coming to fruition. I really can't wait to see what they do with that because I loved him as Negan in The Walking Dead and I bet he's going to do an absolutely killer job in The Boys as well. So yeah, I kind of feel like I said everything that needs to be said about The Boys. I absolutely love the show. I think it's just awesome. And I really, really can't wait for season four because it's just going to be amazing with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. So with all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you have any comments about The Boys, let me know. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.